The search for prey takes Twambo's clan dangerously close to rival territories. Twambo's clan continues its feast. Lulled into false security, they hold their position, still precariously close to enemy territory. By mid-morning, the dregs of the kill are left to the lowest-ranking hyenas of Twambo's clan, who saw little of the lavish feast during the night. But they have overstayed their welcome. The scouts from the Santa's clan have returned with reinforcements. This territorial infringement will not be taken lightly. The intruders recognize the danger too late. The full force of Nasanta's clan is upon them. Twambo's father, the intruding clan's alpha male, is in trouble. A large female from the Santa's clan is close on his tail. cornered. The fierce females show him no mercy. They target his spine and ears. This is a fight for his life. As dusk falls, the battered members of Twambo's clan return to the den. Many are wounded, but only one is missing. Twambo's father. Weeks pass before he finally appears limping and disfigured, but alive. His wounds have healed, but they will mark him for life. His ear has been ripped from his head. But the alpha male's injuries are not the worst of the fight. At Nasanta's den to the north, a male hyena's wounds reflect the true horror of the conflict. His nose and lips have been ripped from his face, healing into a permanent snarl. Next to humans, hyenas are probably one of the most fatally aggressive animals on Earth. 
One day, Twambo will have to breach this deadly territorial rivalry, when he leaves to find a mate in a new clan. In the weeks following the clan war, the rains continue to fall in a ceaseless torrent. Rising waters swallow vast tracts of land. There is little dry ground, a blessing for the birds, but a curse for the herds that must wade through shoulder-high water. The flooding encroaches fast on Twambo's den. The adult hyenas seem to enjoy the quagmire, using it as a pantry in which to store scraps for future meals. But the cubs cannot swim as well as their parents. If the waters reach the den, they could drown. For now, the den is still dry, and Twambo and his clanmates are safe. Twambo is starting to look more like the adult hyenas. His once black coat is now a spotty mane of brown fur, and he has more than doubled in size. But his low rank remains a problem. Even the smallest cubs still actively pick on him. Fortunately, he's also becoming more independent and can escape his belligerent clanmates as he explores ever further from the den. But as adulthood draws near, the toughest part of his life approaches. Soon, instinct will compel him to leave in search of a mate from another clan. If he's not killed for intruding on rival territory, he'll have to struggle for acceptance into a new clan. What little rank he has will be stripped away, and like the adult males of his own clan, he'll become submissive to the clan females. Unprovoked attacks and exclusion from kills will become commonplace. It's a hard life, but life without a clan is harder. Alone, he may struggle for food. His ability to draw nutrition from even the oldest bones may become a matter of survival. At the clan to the north, Nasanta and her sister will not suffer this fate. As high-ranking females, they will never want for food. In fact, unlike Twambo, they will often be the first to feed at kills. Much of the land around Nasanta's den is dry, and the matriarch guides the cubs through their future hunting grounds. Soon, they will even be allowed to join their mother on a hunt. At nightfall, the rains begin anew. Catfish squirm through the flooded lower plain as the waters rise ever higher. If the flood reaches Twambo's den, it could change everything for his clan. The downpour continues into the morning. A female from Twambo's clan returns to the den, but her clanmates are gone.
the burrows lie empty. The waters have crept within meters of the den. They are dangerously high. The cubs lack the size and strength to swim to safety and could easily drown in the deep waters. Cut off from dry land, the den could become a death trap. The matriarch must have led the cubs out in the night before the waters reached the den. But this female has been left behind. She will have to search for the clan on higher ground, or try to survive without them. Was Twambo with the other cubs when they left? Or has he too been abandoned in the flood? left to search the territory for remnants of his clan. Years pass, and the fates of Twambo and his clan remain uncertain. Dry seasons come and go, and each year the plains flood anew. Nasanta continues to flourish as she grows into a high-ranking adult. But today, something unexpected happens. A stranger appears. A hyena foreign to Nasanta's clan. It's Twambo. He survived the floods and has grown to adulthood. He's on his own now, searching for a mate and a new clan. He's been drawn here by the scent of a female in season. That female is Nasanta, and Twambo gets her attention. He's an intruder in her territory, but she doesn't attack him. She'd rather claim him as a mate. New genes in the clan are a valuable asset, and nomadic males are often favored as mates over resident males. With Nasanta's approval, Twambo's intrusion is allowed by the clan, for now. But there is one hyena that disapproves of the match. He is a high-ranking male from Nasanta's clan. And his hopes for mating with Nasanta have been dashed for now by Twambo's unexpected appearance. The pair retreat to avoid a conflict. But the scorned male follows them intent on challenging Twambo for mating rights. A long-distance chase begins. In the blistering midday heat, Twambo and the Santa try to outrun their pursuer. but the male hyena won't give up. After a marathon chase, Twambo and Nasanta mate at last. But in seconds, the competing male catches up. He's still desperate to mate, but he will have to get past Twambo first. Mating is no simple task for spotted hyenas. Because of Nasanta's male-like genitalia, it takes much maneuvering for Twambo to cover her successfully. Without her consent, no male can force her to mate. But that doesn't stop the scorned male from trying. He attempts to mount Nasanta from behind Twambo. At last, the male accepts defeat, leaving Twambo and Nasanta to complete their courtship in peace. 
But when the mating ends, so too does the clan's tolerance for Twambo. He must still gain acceptance into Nisanto's clan. The next day, Twambo approaches Nisanta's den to attempt to gain acceptance. The dominant females immediately investigate the stranger. Twambo flattens his ears and bows his head to show his submission. But it's not enough for them. He's still a member of a rival clan and they will attack him if he does not show complete submission. In order to gain acceptance into the clan, Twambo must also win the favor of the matriarch, Nasanta's mother. She is nursing a new litter of cubs, and she'll protect them at all costs, especially from strangers like Twambo. Twambo keeps his head low, showing absolute deference. The tactic works. The matriarch relents. Finally, she allows him to greet her by sniffing beneath her hind leg. He does the same to her cubs, who will rank above him in this clan. At last, he is allowed to lie down only meters from the matriarch. It seems that Twambo has been accepted into Nasanta's clan. Now, it is Nasanta that must face her toughest challenge yet. Over the next four months, her pregnancy comes to term. At last, the moment arrives. She sits at the entrance to a solitary burrow, where only days before, she survived an excruciating birth. Because of her unusual male-like genitalia, a female spotted hyena's first birth is always extraordinarily painful. Stillbirths are common, but Nasanta's one tiny female cub survived. Like her parents, Twambo and Nasanta, this cub will have to endure life on the lower plane. She'll be spared from a life of bullying like Twambo's because she'll inherit Nasanta's high rank. But she'll still have to survive desperate drought, torrential flooding, natural disasters, and vicious rivalries with other clans. She'll have to learn what it takes to become a Bone Crusher Queen.